Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you some of the Amazon lifestyle products that I have been trying out. Um, I think right now I have five that I really wanted to talk about today and whether or not you should skip or buy them. So the first one we're going to talk about is kind of been a lifesaver for me lately, especially moving down to more of a humid um, climate. It's also the summer and so my skin's kind of adjusting um, to the weather down here in Texas. Um, but the first one that I found on Amazon is the Iconic Cosmetic Acne Patches. I was very skeptical at first and I had been reading reviews and looking around to see kind of what I could find that would really help my skin and some of my random breakouts that I have, especially in my mid-30s now. And believe it or not, these actually worked. Um, I put them on at night and by the morning, the pus started you know, showing through the little patch. Um, this is what they look like. So they have two different sizes. They have the smaller ones and the more medium larger ones. Um, so that's great. There's also 108 of them in the pack. Um, it claims here to absorb secretion and promotes healing of acne. It also says that it protects acne from dirt and other um, contaminants that might get into your skin if you're not using a patch. And then they also are waterproof and breathable. So I would definitely say I would buy these again. They definitely worked. Um, I would say the best thing is you can hardly see them. They do have a little bit of a reflection to them. So if you're in the sun or at certain angles, people, if you're out and about, might be able to see them. Um, but they are very affordable. I got this whole pack of 108 for only $7 on Amazon. Um, I would say the only thing I cannot attest to on their claim on their box is if it promotes healing of the acne spot. I have been using them a lot. I've gone through at least one of the three pouches that was in here. Um, they definitely, like I said, pull the pus to the, to the surface, um, but healing wise, I'm not sure. As you can see, I have a little blemish right here that I have no makeup on today either. Um, but I don't know if I can say that it actually has healed the area as much, but um, I'm gonna to continue to use them. I like how it draws everything to the surface and it is definitely a lot better on your skin than sitting there and squeezing and pushing them. So um, I definitely would recommend them, especially for $7 on Amazon. Um, I have the link below if you wanna check those out. Another product that I have found on Amazon that I just recently found, I would probably say about four to five months ago, is um, these workout leggings. It's from Craze Yoga, and these ones right here are a naked feeling. Um, here's the logo, and I love these yoga pants. They definitely are naked feeling. These ones in particular are high waist, and they do not fall down um, when I go and work out my high intensity gym classes every day. They're $30 on Amazon and they have a wide range of colors and patterns. Um, they also have all the various lengths from 21 inch all the way up to I think 28 or even 31 inch. Um, they are amazing. I would definitely compare them to Lululemon. They are very stretchy. You cannot see through them um, when you do squats, as I say, squat proofing, um, which is awesome. I wear these on a daily basis, not just to work out, but I also got some black ones just to wear with a tunic and things like that, sweaters. Um, I also bring them with me when we travel and go on our vacations. So I definitely would recommend and I will continue to buy these Craze Yoga pants. They also have other things as well. They sell tops, bras, things like that. Um, I would definitely recommend checking them out on Amazon. Definitely save you a couple bucks compared to the Lululemon. And if you are looking for something like this, I have the link below. The third thing I'm gonna talk about is the Olay Total Effects Correcting CC Cream. So I got this on Amazon for, I think it was, I see them right now for $18. Obviously there's sales and things like that. So I'd say between 11 and $18. I got this back in January um, because I had I was finishing my last month at work back in Virginia and I didn't bring any of my makeup or things like that so I just wanted to grab something quick. I was really hoping that um, this would give me some coverage for work and things like that but also help moisturize my skin because it was January. It says seven in one, um, it's tone correcting, it's a CC cream and it comes with sunscreen of SPF of 15. I got the light to medium shade. 
I would definitely say after using it for a month, it is not my favorite. I was really, really hoping to like it. It does moisturize your skin. It also has the SPF of 15, but that's pretty much all I liked about it. Um, as you can see, the little twists in there. So you got your color and then you got your moisturization. So the one thing that I did not like about it was just how thick it was. So as you can see here, it's very, it's smooth, but it's very, very thick. And I also noticed after wearing it for a good eight hours, nine hours at work, that my it started to feel, I guess, a little bit cakey and I felt like I was flaking. And so that really worried me at work. So I was constantly kind of like making sure, going to the bathroom, making sure it was still on and things like that. I just wouldn't recommend this, especially for the price. I feel like there's other CC creams out there that do a better job, that feel lighter and that are you know, moisture and have SPF in them as well. Um, so this is something on Amazon that I would skip. Unfortunately, if you want something a little bit cheaper or something quick, it might work for you. It just didn't work for me. This next product that I'm going to show you and talk about is something that I wasn't sure if I should get or not, but it's kind of been all the rave. Um, it is actually a waist trainer. So I'm sure you've seen things like this. Um, post online you see like celebrities and things like that with it so I figured hey we'll give it a try it's $29 on Amazon it is great quality super thick um, out here is more of like a, a I wouldn't say rubber but rubber feeling inside is more of a uh, cotton texture they have the boning on it and then the, it also comes with an extender and so you can take off the extender if you need um, a little bit more space or more room. They also came in really great shades, more nude colors, things like that. Um, so I did appreciate those factors, but I did find that the sizing was off. This is a large and I definitely needed the extender. And even with the extender all the way out, it was still so tight. Um, and so it was really hard to wear for the recommended 8 to 12 hours a day. Um, it really made me sweat a lot and so I couldn't wear it outside, especially here in Texas. It would have just gone through my clothing and things like that. Um, and so I wouldn't recommend this on a daily use. I haven't worn it actually in several months. I don't know if I'm going to go back to it. Um, I'd rather just maybe watch my diet a little bit more instead of having to squeeze into this thing every day. Just wasn't my favorite, especially for $29. So that's definitely an item that I would say skip on. Lastly, I wanted to kind of bring another beauty item into it because I was a little bit disappointed in this. Um, so it's the Maybelline Volume Express Waterproof Mascara. I was really hoping to like it. I was thinking about getting a mascara to try, especially because I go, like I said, to the gym every day and I get very sweaty, so I didn't want mascara that was gonna run all over my face. And it was only $6. So the price is great. Um, as you can see here, I really like the, the brush on it. Those are usually the styles that I go for. I'm not really into those rubbery ones. Um, it does say that it is waterproof, and I would say that that definitely is the only thing it has going for it, at least for me. Other than that, it says it's colossal, it's supposed to be volumizing. I don't see that. I don't really get any volume. If anything, it's just lengthening. It just really just defines each eyelash. It doesn't clump, which is great, um, but another thing I did not like about it is it's extremely hard to get off. I use makeup bombs, I use those makeup um, cloths, things like that, very hard to get off. Um, that's one thing that as I was using it consistently for about two weeks, I started seeing some of my eyelashes fall out, so that was frustrating, so I stopped using it. I hope you enjoyed these hit and misses from Amazon that I have tried. Um, as usual, I have the links posted below. So if you wanted to go and shop around, see if you like them, um, they are below. Also below are some of my affiliate links. If you wanted to get any great discounts on some of the box subscriptions and things like that that I do, check those out down below. It'll give you some savings. It also will give me some savings. So we kind of help each other. Um, thanks for coming in and uh, taking your time to watch my, my channel and my videos. I really appreciate it it and I'll see you next time.